NCFL on Twitch says, Merry Christmas, Ox. Merry Christmas, NCFL. Jay Paul 13 on Twitch says, Good afternoon, Ox and Elves. Good afternoon, Jay Paul. We've got Alicia Wolf and Roman and Toby Noble and Garrett on at, uh, Facebook today. Uh, Garrett Horsch on Facebook says, Howdy, Ox, the good part of Atlantic City with quest lines, free roam, and third location drops in March. Yeah, I, uh, I've heard as much as well. And of course, it's wonderful to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Uh, Laura Elstad, Retro Wave, Julian Z, Salati Bardfast, Hunter, Heather R, Random Fandom, Mark Fogarty, Nonsense Jersey, R's, Manbear0629, and a special thanks to everybody who has been donating to St. Jude offline, because my donate link has been live even when I'm not broadcasting, and all of you who have been coming back to watch the VODs, hey, we just got another one from Ryan68, thank you very much for donating to the cause. Uh, so many of you have been watching offline when I'm not live, and still gone and donated, so that the top donors are completely updated again. We are at 5,861. That already puts us as the number one fundraiser for this particular charity, for Fallout for Hope. This Oxhorn community is already the number one um, earner for charity for Fallout for Hope. So I'm absolutely thrilled you guys humble me and honor me, and I'm so excited. I think my, my, my goal was a bit ambitious, um, because I was remembering 2021. That was a, a unique year for fundraising. I was going back and looking at all of the other fundraisers for Fallout for Hope, and in 2021, man, everyone was just earning a ton of money. 2022 was rough. We, uh, uh, we just didn't get quite as many donations to charity that year, and 2023 is looking pretty rough as well. That said, we're almost halfway to where I had kind of hoped that we would be. 14,000 was a bit of an ambitious goal, I think, but we're look at what we've raised. We, this community has already raised Almost $6,000 for charity. I am so incredibly excited. The top donors have changed. We've got Joe Klein at uh, $501, the top spot. Then Anastasia, John DeGian Buradino at $419, Vic Whiplash at $350, and Nomad at $300. They've come in to knock the Wiz, Bustavo, and Lane Berry down a little bit, but these are all still really huge donations from extremely generous people. Thanks to each and every one of you. Julian Z says, uh, Hello, Ox. Are we doing the second Atlantic City quest? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Um, we did the first Atl Atlantic City quest yesterday. And look, listen, this is Fallout 4 Hope. And... Hey, Slatty Bartfast with a $25 donation. Thank you so much, Slatty Bartfast, for helping out the kids of St. Jude. If you want to contribute as well, there's a link to St. Jude in the description. Oops, I forgot to pin the link in the chat. Let me do that really quickly. Almost there, if I can find it. Hey, thank you so much, Amy. Uh, for the donation as well. Looks like I can't easily find it, but the link is is in the description and there's a QR code right on the screen, right there. There's the QR code, so you can snap that if you want to donate. Thanks again for participating. Anyway, as I was saying, you know, this is Fallout for Hope and this is in partnership with Bethesda and the Fallout brand, which is so incredibly exciting. And, and I love the fact that my absolute favorite gaming franchise is part of this wonderful charity and that I'm able to be involved in some way. I'm honored and just thrilled in every way. Um, I And you all know that I've covered Fallout 76 in the past and treated the game with an enormous amount of respect and uh, uh, live streamed as much of it as I can and done lore videos on all sorts of stuff. Um, I still believe that every game, even games from companies that I really respect and franchises that I really respect, um, deserve to be 
you know, reviewed and criticized and, and they shouldn't be sugar coated, which is why yesterday when we ran into a number of, um, let's say odd game choices and a couple of glitches, you know, I didn't try to hide it and I didn't pretend like it was all okay. Um, I covered it and I talked about it and I think that's okay. And that's something that every broadcaster should do and you shouldn't just pretend like the game that you're playing is perfect if it's if it's not and in, remember yesterday was launch day for Atlantic City and we ran into a couple of issues like a door completely disappearing when we needed to go through the door to complete the quest and a hundred enemies spawning when uh, when you're trying to uh, throw some bags in the back of of a dumpster it was it was an interesting broadcast yesterday we uh, we had a, an interesting time that's for sure uh, but I also think that it's important to not forget the positives as, as well. And this is where I, I think many people forget that there are both positives and negatives to almost everything. And you'll find certain people who they just want to focus on the negative. And all they do is make YouTube videos about the things that they hate. And all they talk about is how this is a dumpster fire and that is a dumpster fire. And then you've got the flip side of people who just can't accept criticism and they can't accept that there might be something a little bit wrong with their precious little gem that they've decided to idolize. And they, and they, and they think that anyone who criticizes or mentions the things that they don't like or are hating on them, or they're just negative Nancy's or whatever. And, but the thing is that there's, there's, both can be true at the same time. Something can have a lot of flaws, which should be mentioned, and something can have a lot of positive, which, uh, which also should be mentioned. And I am glad that we got to enjoy a little bit of both yesterday. We saw some of the glitches and some of the negatives, and we went in and we got to read some of the lore and see some of the characters. And in particular, the set design for the casino was really well done, and I enjoyed a lot of the games that we got to play. And so I have a feeling that today's broadcast is going to be the same. We're going to do the other quest, the other expedition to Atlantic City, the boardwalk, I believe, and we're going to probably see some glitches. We're probably going to see some questionable design choices, and we're probably going to see a lot of really inspiring stuff as well. That's the plan for today. And then after we complete that expedition, we'll go back to some of the other games. Hey, thank you so much, Scotty P, for helping out the kids of St. Jude, I appreciate it. And then uh, after we finish uh, that expedition, we'll go and play some of the other games that we've really been enjoying. Um, in particular, Dredge. I, I had a great time with Dredge, and I think I wanna go back and explore that one a little bit more. And if we get bored of that, you know, I've got a, a long list of other stuff that we can tackle today. Hunter says, have you seen the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer? It got 100 million views in just 24 hours. To compare, Grand Theft Auto V, the second best-selling game in the world, reached 100 million views only after 12 years. Yes, I mean, I don't want to undermine their achievement, but we also have to remember that the, that the amount of data on the internet doubles every two years, right? And the amount of people who are connected to the internet and use YouTube as a primary source for getting information, that also increases every year. So the fact that, you know, Grand Theft Auto V released 12 years ago, only recently reached that milestone, which Grand Theft Auto 6 got today, uh, doesn't surprise me. However, this is also a Guinness Book of World Records. This is the first time that a YouTube video has gotten 100 million views in under 24 hours. So it's certainly an achievement, and it, uh, it's a testament to Rockstar as a company and Grand Theft Auto as a franchise. Um, it's amazing. I, I did see the trailer. Uh, you know, it's not... It's the Grand Theft Auto franchise has never really been a universe that I've been intrigued by. However, after playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and just being absolutely blown away by the level of detail and polish and, and amazing world building in that game, I might give it a chance. You know, it might be something that I'll explore, especially we played Cyberpunk 2077 and it was a dark and seedy world, too. And I, I enjoyed I enjoyed my time in Cyberpunk. So, yeah, maybe we'll try Grand Theft Auto 6. When it comes to the PC, from everything that I've heard, it's going to be console only for a while. I hope I'm wrong about that. Jackal says, good afternoon. Hope all is well. Thank you very much, Jackal. Hope all is well with you. Colonel Indiana Longnuts says, uh, what's up, Box? Been watching your videos since I was in seventh grade. You've helped me so much with making my Fallout experience way more interesting. 
Uh, well, thank you very much, Colonel Indiana Longnuts. You're welcome. And, I, and I'm thrilled to have been around uh, for so much of your childhood. It's good to have you on the program today. NCF4L on Twitch says, for some reason, my Red Dead Redemption 2 Disc 1 is not downloading. Have, have any tips on what to do with it? I mean, I wish I did. I, I, re I really don't when it comes to that. I don't really know uh, much about how Rockstar deals with their downloader and all of that, so I'm the wrong person to ask. But I do wish you all the best in getting that game to work again. Steven Williams on Facebook says, Oxhorn, hey, look at that, Anonymous. With a $50 donation today. Thank you so much, Anonymous, for helping the kids. Steven says, Oxhorn, I never played Fallout until I started watching you. I am uh, uh, honored and glad to still be watching you. Keep up the awesome and amazing work. And I loved Fallout. Now, thanks again, Oxhorn. Well, Steven, thank you. Uh, and you're welcome. I mean, one of the reasons I made this channel is because... I have always really appreciated the world building and the lore within the Fallout franchise, uh, but because it's an open world game and you can pretty much set your own uh, priorities and explore the world as you want, I felt like so many people just missed the amazing stories that we could find in the Fallout universe, and so I, I sought to organize them <laughs> and make them a little bit more easily accessible to people who otherwise would, uh, would not be exposed to the stories, and so I'm grateful to hear that you've enjoyed that and you've been watching for a long time. Legally, bl legally Blind Gamer on uh, Twitch says, how's it going? It's going very well. We are on day three of my charity live stream. This is the last charity live stream I will do for the year. So uh, if you have been saving your donations, if you had your wallet closed and you've been waiting for the right moment, this is the right moment. This is December, the last month of the year. It's time to get your charitable donations in for the year, and St. Jude's is an amazing charity to work with. They really help the kids who need it the most. So crack open those wallets, give a donation to St. Jude's. There's a link in the description below. There's a QR code on the, uh, on the camera right there, so you can find two ways to donate to the kids of St. Jude. And uh, I definitely believe we're going to get over the uh, $6,000 mark today. Can we make it to 10? It's possible. It's definitely possible. I think we can do it. Is that, can, should we uh, reevaluate our ambition there from 14 to 10? If we make it over 10, I'll be so thrilled, guys. I would be so thrilled and impressed. I'm already thrilled and impressed, so it's, it's, it's easy to thrill and impress me. Uh, anyway. Scotty P says, try Saints, Saints Row 4. It's balls to the wall crazy. Balls to the wall, that just sounds like a lot of pressure. I don't think I'd be comfortable. But still, Saints Row 4, I'll have to check it out. Thank you so much, Scotty P. Hey, Sparrow donated $25 to help the kids of St. Jude. Thank you so much, Sparrow. Okay. It's time. Let's dive in. There's more free stuff in the atomic shop? I thought we got it all yesterday. A utility item. A free carry weight booster. Okay. Free stuff every day these days, huh? Hey, random fandom with a $25 donation. Thank you so much. I mean, it's 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 wonderful getting all of these big donors at the top. But there are, there, there are literally hundreds of you who have been donating 
in small amounts, and all of that adds up to a significant amount. So thanks so much, even to everybody who can only donate 5, 10, 15, 20. Those are just still huge, significant donations that really push the needle forward and help the, help the kids of St. Jude. Dead's Shotgun became a bronze ox. Thank you so much, Dead's Shotgun. Hank Shepard says, hey, after you talk to the Jeremiah guy, where do you go to get on the vertebrae to Atlantic City? <sighs> uh, yeah, it's not explained very well in the game. Uh, in particular, since they actually changed the way that you get to Atlantic City from uh, the pit expedition. With the pit, we had to go on this quest where we got a bunch of fuel cells to fuel up a vertebrate, and none of that is actually applicable. So to get to Atlantic City, you just press R from the map. And there you go. That's, uh, that allows you to, to go to Atlantic City or the pit. Now that said, I do want to talk to Jeremiah because that's something that I failed to do in my last broadcast. Uh, let's see if we can... Um, miscellaneous... Where is, is, do they have talk to Jeremiah? No. These are all the quests I have, all right. I don't have anything that says talk to Jeremiah. And you know what, I really don't want to have to hunt him down in White Springs either. So let's just go. Hold on. Before I go, let's check out what armor and uh, weaponry I actually have. Hey, Mars Bar with a $10 donation. Thank you so much, this Mars unit Bar. This has been programmed with the task of wishing all who cross its path a happy holiday. Okay, Initiating let's go to weapon. Happy holidays. And didn't I have a gat? I could have sworn I had a Gatling gun. Whacker, smacker. Where did I get all of these? And I don't need that. Oh, wait, I've had that on my inventory the entire time? I need more ammunition. Whoa! Grelka! Oh my god, Grelka! With a thousand dollar donation to help the kids of St. Jude. That puts us at seven thousand. $56. I am amazed. I'm blown away. I'm shocked. That's such generosity this holiday season. Thank you so much for coming by and, and giving us that donation. The kids really appreciate it. You're amazing. That is phenomenal. Amy Hudson says, hey, Ox, there are new locations west and south of Vault 76. Small amount of lore, very small. Thanks, Amy Hudson. I'm, yeah, I don't think I'll, I think I want to focus on the expedition and then move on to something else. Uh, but I want to make sure that I have a big gun after our experience yesterday. I want to make sure I have a big gun that, uh, with plenty of ammunition. So let's go to, uh, do we have an ammo tab? Yeah. Caliber machine gun, so I need 50 caliber ammunition. Let's see if I can find. I'm gonna get little guys, but I need that for my uh, power armor. Jimvideo.com with a super sticker. Thank you, Jim Video. I appreciate it. No name says all hail Santa Bot, for he has returned. We all love Santa Bot, don't we? Here we go. Stalker's short Gatling gun. That's going to give me... Uh, oh, I've got over a thousand rounds for that. Yeah. 
Let's get that, and then let's go get my 50 caliber ammo. Do I have any 50 caliber ammo? Oh, I don't. Shoot. I've got 300 rounds of 50 caliber ammo. All right, it'll have to do. Am I encumbered? I don't think I'm encumbered. Sweet. Let's go. Atlantic City. We did tax evasion yesterday. Let's try the most sensational game. Strive for victory in a deadly, no rules race to the finish. In the district, Showman's Pier, contact Veracho Cruz. We can press enter to start a new expedition. Touching down. Say goodbye to the quaint comforts of the Appalachians. And welcome to Atlantic City. A new world of pleasure, opportunity, and challenge. Few have accepted an invitation to star in a game like no other. A game where you will be pushed to your limits and beyond. Okay, here we are, Atlantic City. Look at the boardwalk. So this is another part. Is that is that a Nuka Cola themed? No, it's not. Rutkowski's boats. All right, there's our contact over there. Let's go talk to him. Would you like to test your limits? Don't speak. You need not tell me you are a kindred spirit. I can smell it on you. The spirit of ambition, of reckless abandon. You have come to star in the game to end the twins' tedious reign. This guy is very dramatic. Talk about being a showman. What sort of game are you talking about? On select evenings, such as tonight, we, the showmen, host the most sensational game. No rules, no limits. A simple race to the finish that puts Thank every you, skill and instinct to the test. The game is composed of three acts. The first takes place here at the boardwalk, where yours truly shall provide your initial challenge. Call it a test. A warm-up, a taste of what's to come. For your dance with death truly begins in Act Two. Beneath the gaping shadows of the ocean, the Batsuri twins and other competitors will fight you tooth and nail for their role in the final. Thank act. you, Angie! A battle between the remaining victors to determine one ultimate champion! Our crown, the sensation! Tell me, will you answer the call? Will you achieve a victory of your own and free us from the twins? Monotonous win streak. Bro, I, I feel like you could have said all of that in fewer words. I'm just... <laughs> I get that he's a showman. He's got to put on a drama, but wow. Is that a snakeskin jacket? And cowboy hat, matching cowboy hat. That's snakeskin, isn't that? Who were you? Veresio Cruz. At your service. It was not so long ago. I crawled along as but an overgrown infant, parading the mindless violence of pit brawls as entertainment. Mother challenged me to create something truly aspirational. And in designing this game, I was reborn. It is my growing child, my working canvas. Ah, but will it ever be finished? 
Got another a donation to St. Jude's that popped up there. Missed the name, but thank you so much. Man, I don't think I want to listen to this guy talk anymore. He's just too much. <laughs> Can you tell me about the game? It is a trial like none other. There are no rules. Competitors snap at each other's throats in pursuit of a single objective. We finish line. The perils of the game demand you to empty your mind and seek victory at all costs. Is it not beautiful in its simplicity? What's the deal with the twins? The Batsuri twins. How I tire of their name. The game used to be for everyone. An outlet, an opportunity for the lost and the lowest. With every win, the twins stole the ambition from the other participants. If another could challenge them, how that would inspire the masses once more! Proving that none are infallible. There is always an opportunity to cease your own greatness. I have sought talent from far and wide to break us free from this stagnant cycle. You have the potential. I can see it in you. All right, so the twins have dominated the competition, and that has caused it to become stagnant, and he really wants me to win. So, I'm going to be pitted against other entrants. Pitted against? No. I am not some handler whipping you to bear your fangs. All those who compete do so of their own volition. They choose to seek victory at any cost. Ashley, hey, H, thank you so much, Ashley. This seems pretty twisted, we could say, or we could say, well, count me in, time to hunt. Hmm, I can relate to your enthusiasm, your hunger. Perhaps we have both seen too much of the darker side of humanity. Or perhaps that had nothing to do with it. And instead, we were born hungry. Oh man, I was born so hungry. Is the ocean safe to swim in? The innocent tourist gazes upon an old postcard. Vacationers, frolicking in the waves beneath the summer sun. Hey, Mr. Brad Dad, or Bad Dad, a hundred and six dollar donation. Thank you, Bad Dad. Is transported to a visage of the old world. They doff their apparel and frolic as their privileged predecessors did. The water produces a warm sensation. In their gleefulness, the tourist believes it is the shine of the sun, but the clouds overhead cast a shadow. The warmth begins to burn. Skin peels, organs rupture, bone cracks and crumbles. All within seconds of this optimistic charade. Who now would believe this world is the same? The city rose tints their weary eyes, and they accept it willingly. All right, so in short, don't swim in the ocean. Got it. Ocean bad. Why is the water so irradiated? They say it was not our enemies that irradiated these waters, but ourselves. That a transport aircraft suffered an engine failure and was forced to jettison its precious cargo into the waiting depths of this very coast. The cargo was two nuclear bombs. Oh. Did they detonate far below, where no human would ever feel it? Or perhaps they lie dormant? Perhaps the pressure created a leak, poisoning this water over the course of decades. Or perhaps the myth never happened at all. And the truth of this lethal ocean remains buried. The mystery entices, does it not? That is interesting. We've got some pre-war lore there about why the water is so irradiated. It's possible that two nuclear drums, bombs were dropped there and that they're leaking radiation. Malchris says, heard you say these super chats are going to St. Jude's and my phone's being weird with the link. So here's some money for the kids. Good going, Ox. Thank you, Malchris. Yes, at the end of all three broadcasts, I will count up all that um, I've earned in super chats and I will personally donate that to the charity on all of your behalf. So I appreciate it. 
do try to use the link if you can, but if you can't, I'll make sure that they'll get there through the super chat. I appreciate it. Right. Uh, Demon God King says, Ox, what's your opinion of the new Fallout trailer? I was encouraged. I am uh, really excited. Um, I, I didn't see anything on the new Fallout TV show trailer that uh, really wasn't already shown to us in the uh, Vanity Fair article. Uh, so my thoughts pretty much remain the same. Uh, last week I released a video talking about the concerns that I do have, and I do have a couple of concerns from a lore perspective about the new Fallout TV show. However, all of the art and the characters and the acting and the setting and the humor all looks really good to me, and I'm, I'm really encouraged about that. I just hope that the Brotherhood of Steel remains a technology cult and they just don't become a big, bad, authoritarian bad guy, and I hope the NCR makes a presence. Those are my two big lore issues. There were a few other little quibbles. Hey, thank you very much, Anonymous, with a $50 donation to St. Jude's. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Uh, I had a few other quibbles about where the Pridwin could have come from. That's a little bit of a minor issue. And then there was another scrap town that looked exactly like Megaton, and I was like, why is there another Megaton? But aside from those small things, really, I just want to find out more about the NCR, and they really have to explain the Brotherhood, and what the Brotherhood's doing there, and why the NCR isn't in charge of Los Angeles all these years later, so on and so forth. But I covered all of that in my video that I published a couple of weeks ago. I am ready to compete. Magnificent. Then allow me to set the stage for you. At sunset, the moonflowers bloom. A particularly pungent species of overgrown which must be pruned, lest it lay waste to our marvelous shores. This first act, you sharpen your blade with a service to the showman and the city. Mow down these malignant weeds and clear the way. All right. Before you begin, see how the twins disrespect the game. Rather than begin their own endeavor to the finish, nearby they await the arrival of their challenger. You greet them, if you will. Light a fire under them. Let them fear their imminent defeat. All right, so I gotta clear the way by getting rid of a I bunch of your performance, Challenger. By getting rid of a bunch of um, sentient fauna, apparently. Hey, Uncle Matt, too, with a one hundred and seventy-five dollar donation to the kids of Saint Jude. Thank you so much, Uncle Matt. Longtime viewer coming in right at the end here to help out the kids of St. Jude. Thank you, Uncle Matt. So we got to clear the way, and we've got to meet the Batsuri twins, uh, who are, are the reigning champions. Whoa! Oh, wow. What story does this tell? In a locked... In a locked ticket booth, right here on the boardwalk, we find a bunch of military skeletons. Okay, I suppose the story doesn't have to be that insidious. It could be that uh, the showman cleaned up the boardwalk by just grabbing the skeletons of everyone who died out here when the bombs dropped, including the U.S. military servicemen, and piled them in here. That <laughs> could be what happened here. Ooh, Nuka-Cola Cherry, thank you very much. Steel101 says, the charity link is a bit buggy on my phone. I'll just go with this super chat. Cheers, Ox. Also, I love this area. It reminds me of the Boardwalk Empire TV show. Get ready for a tough fight here, oh dear God. I mean, you're saying that after having witnessed my tough fight from yesterday, so I hope it's not quite as difficult as yesterday's. But thank you very much. You know what? It uh, I love Boardwalk areas. It doesn't remind me exactly of Point Lookout, but... Um, I did love the look, the Point Lookout boardwalk. Right there's the Batsuri, Batsuri twins. But let's finish looking around here really quickly before we go talk to the twins. Ooh, dude's got a clown in his chest cavity. Oh, what is this? He is seen. <laughs> How do I do photo mode again? There we go. I 
I can't go down? He is seen. Seen he is. All right, there we go. Oh, I am encumbered, which is why I can't sprint. Crap. All right, what's my, um, I'm at, oh, I need to somehow get rid of a lot here. Uh, oh, I'm carrying these legendary modules and a key card. Whoops. Oh well. I guess I just won't sprint. Alright, let's go talk to the Batsuri twins. These wastrels seek no challenge. They are like tumbleweed. Ugly husks rolling aimlessly on the wind. Cool man fight, says Oxhorn. If you could, you one Fallout soft drink to try, what one would if it be? If we could swim, would the ocean swallow us? Like what a candle be more blowing exciting out than an obstacle black to overcome. Probably Nuka-Cola Dark. A new challenger. What do you think, brother? Star or merely player? They look strong. I'll bet they survived this round. Done my way, the game relies on more than just brawn. Done your way, it's tricks above talent. What's so fun about rolling a die? The uncertainty, of course. But perhaps our challenger should weigh in. What do you say? Would you rather compete with Guile or Brute Force? Technicolor Tube says there is no Fallout game you can play that allows you to ignore your inventory. Correct, and I'm not suggesting otherwise. Mark Fogarty says, don't miss the notes on the boardwalk, Ox. Don't worry, I won't. Uh, we can say, you've won this a bunch of times. You tell me which way I'm more likely to survive. Oh, you poor thing. Nothing's less attractive than indecision. I say spare the first time or some pity. Very well, then. Let their actions speak for them. Since this is your first time, we'll tell you what you're in for. Not just a challenge, but a question. Forget your worries, troubles, and preconceptions. All that matters is the finish. Welcome, Welcome to the to game. The game. Right. So you two are the twins who are dominating this competition? Is that what they say about us? We found this game just like any other competitor. We chose to make it our own. But now we have a problem. Why compete if there's no competition? We seek a rival. Will it be you? What if I don't want to kill you or the other competitors? <laughs> then you're in the wrong competition. Everyone here knows the risks. They give it all for a chance at a new discovery. The cruelest thing you can do to a warrior is go easy. Not that you'll be able to kill us anyway. Naka Michael, with a donation to St. Jude's. Thank you so much, Naka Michael. Why are you doing this? Is it so strange to strive for something? Out there, the wastrels scramble to survive. Their life's purpose is a meager bite from a slice of bread. Ours is actualization. 
Living up to potential. Breaking past it. In this game, the showmen are kind enough to provide the venue. But we, the players, must provide the show. I'm looking for an extra challenge. How delightful. Then listen well. Don't just participate in the game. Play it. When you take down a rival competitor, demonstrate your competitive spirit with a cheer or taunt. I've got a surprise for you. If you can find my prize teddy. <laughs> so cute. And in its guts is stashed a prize. One last thing. If you're so determined to beat us, can you do it quickly? Oh, man. Time starts when you begin Veracio's challenge. Why don't you show us your moves? Okay, so I gotta find a, a stuffed bear, and I've gotta do it quick. Approach the play area. I'm off! See you at the finish. We'll be in touch during the game. It wouldn't do to let you forget about us. Okay. Well, if it's gonna be timed, I'm gonna have to deal with my my uh, inventory here. I uh, probably need to get rid of food and drink. Oh, carry weight booster. Yay, for 30 minutes. Okay, that's all I had to do. Mountain to climb, a boulder to crush. Supreme Gourmet. Cast your vote for America's next Supreme Gourmet. Team Oyster, Saffron Risotto. Team Shrimp, Scallop, Carpaccio. Team uh, Quahog, Mole Enchiladas. Team Calamari, Sea Turtle, Kiviche. Please place your ticket in the bowl of your favorite. Hey, thank you, Michelle. All right, so I need to go back to, no, I need to approach the play area. And that's gonna be over there. All right, let me see what's over here first then. How many notes are on the boardwalk? So far I have found just that one. In your dreams, we are chased by an endless flood. Waking life seems so easy by comparison. Here we go. Oh no, that's also uh, Supreme Gourmet. Pain is the greatest friend to laugh with. It's the exact same note. Right, I think that's everything. Ooh, roller coaster? Ah, oh, invisible wall! Oh, come on! Oh, man. I can't go to the, uh, Roller coaster or the Ferris wheel? Because there's an invisible wall. Oh man, can I ride the Ferris wheel? Eh, oh. Just getting doused in radiation. Oh wow, that's really a lot of radiation. <laughs> he did warn me. All right. Holy cow, I'm carrying a lot of this. This is where my weight is. <laughs> it's all in Rataway. <laughs> I'm just carrying a ton of it. Well, I know what to get rid of if I need to. All right, uh, approach the play area. All right, let's, let's equip one of my big weapons. Hey, Aaron Hendrickson with a $50 donation to the kids of St. Jude's. Thank you so much. All right, I've got over a thousand rounds in this sucker. It's a big gun. I'm probably not going to do a lot of damage in it because I'm not specced into it correctly, but I don't really want to spend the time to do that. So here we go.
The overgrown elders are equipping guns. What is with that? All right, there was somebody up in there. Huh, so these irradiated overgrown guys had guns, so they're somewhat semi-intelligent. Okay, well the Gatling gun is, um, <laughs> it's not very useful. <laughs> Let me try the 50 millimeter, uh, the 50 caliber machine gun. I'm sure it would be much more useful if I was actually equip equipping the correct cards. But, you know, I've, I've, for five years I have played this guy as a Gauss rifle, 50 caliber, a lever action rifle, a 45 caliber lever action rifle stealth guy. And doggone it, I'm not about to, to change. Soy Sauce says, all hail King Oxhorn. Thank you very much, Soy Sauce. Eliminate the first overgrown moonflower. Uh, optional emote after taking down other competitors. Optional win the game expeditiously. Oh, God. Uh, e all right, I got to emote. This was another competitor. Let's uh, emote. Um. How do you how do you get to the emote wheel? <laughs> Oh, it's been so long, I don't... G, says chat. All right, well, that didn't, uh, that didn't work. I guess I have to kill them myself.
I'm gonna do what I know. I am fully specced into riflemen. I've got a Gauss rifle. It just takes forever. At least I can find some escape if I need to. Where you going? Where's the blue guy? I saw him up here. The blue guy's the guy I gotta kill, right? There he is!
Okay, I got a moonflower pruned acknowledgement. But that didn't complete my objective here. Win the game expeditiously. I'm definitely not going to get that. Uh, but I need to emote after taking down a competitor. I haven't seen any other competitors just yet. Angel Fire says, Hi, Oxhorn. Did you like the teaser trailer for the Amazon Prime Fallout? I did. I enjoyed it. I thought the theme was on point. I loved the humor aspect of it. Um, yeah, it was great. Okay, this leads back out to the boardwalk. We have a path over here. And then a path around the other way as well. problem with timed objectives is you don't feel like you have the luxury to explore, which is what I want to do. I just want to take my time and explore the place, but I've got a timer now. Tick, 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 tick. If I don't complete the timer, I'm not going to get the best rewards. Okay, that one didn't count. Okay, I took down this guy. I took down both of these guys. Huh. But I only got credit for emoting over that one.
Okay. That one worked. That one worked. And that one worked, okay. Deep cold water, do not swim. Ooh, fireworks! Hey, that's pretty. Loving the fireworks. Ooh, look at that. Aquarium of the Atlantic, sharks, manta rays, marlin and tuna fish, sea turtles and reptiles, marine mammals. No, I won't let you hide. I'm not hiding, I'm ob ob observing the sights. Is this the same? No, it's not. There's the Ferris wheel. So we've gone over to a completely different section of the boardwalk. I hear something. Was it a seagull or, it, or maybe it sounded like a muffled cry for help? Is that a lighthouse? Ooh, can we go to the lighthouse? Exhibit. Can we see the exhibit? Okay, well this is where we jumped on top of there to fight off all those guys. The mouse and the bull. A single victory is cause for celebration. Two is proof. Three or more, and we may deign to call it arrogance. Yet I cannot help but admire these orphans for such a show they've put on. The boy stands tall against every resistance. Guarded by his tenacity, the girl sneaks through every trap. No doubt she'll soon start setting her own. Try as I might to bring these prodigies under my wing, they claim they have no need for family to save each other, or save each other. How a doting mother's heart breaks. For a child that cannot be tamed is a naughty one. I must find a handler, and soon, lest my darling Veraccio's game becomes a farce. The masses of this ailing city present such lackluster competition. Perhaps from the outside we can find a challenger worthy enough to put them in their place. To heal these naughty orphans and breathe some spirit back into the waiting crowds, they sleep with their eyes open, blind to their own potential. How many times have I said that anyone can be a star? Anyone who is willing to risk it all, life, limb, and soul, for a chance to see their own glory. So there's a mother out here uh, wanting to, to be a mother to the twins or something?
Okay, that one didn't work. I guess you gotta do it right after killing them. Yeah, it only works immediately after killing them. On the last person you kill. Oh, that's annoying. So you really gotta do the emote every single time, otherwise you miss an opportunity to pass the challenge. Okay, the sensational game. Show woman's peer. Inaccessible. Really? I can't go inside? Really? Oh, look at this dude clutching baby dolls. My babies! If you are reading this, please take care of my babies. I've been so lost since their mother, uh, stopped talking to me. Please, I don't know what else to do. They never meant to hurt anyone, promise. <laughs> I can't get behind the sign. Ooh, what is that? Wow. We got a big old wrecked ship. Forget the timer, man. I'm just going to explore. <laughs> Warning, danger. That's a big skull and crossbones. Ah. Uh, foiled again by an invisible wall. Ah. Uh, I guess I'm meant to just look at this, stand at a distance, and, and enjoy it as a sight. I wanted to explore the, explore the wreck. Right, well, I can't go in there just yet. Maybe it'll open up to me later, but there are more baddies up here. Care. Don't run from me. Moonflower! Moonflower prune! Wow, that was highly effective. Emote! Well, you only emote over the competitors. You, you can't emote over these guys. Yeah, that didn't give me credit. Emote after taking down another competitor, and I've got four more to go. And now I'm overcumbered again. All right, let's go back to uh, carry weight booster. This is my last one. After this, I'm going to have to dump some rat away. <laughs> The death animation for these big guys is broken. Look at that. It's delayed, at least. D 
Deuteronomus says you also have armor you're not using. Uh, do I? Uh, I mean, I've got a raider chest piece. Oh, yeah. T51B. Negative 15% damage from Scorched. 25% reduced disease chance from environmental hazards. 5% chance to deal 12 energy damage per second for 4 seconds to melee attackers. Negative 7% incoming damage. Negative 15% incoming radiation damage. Uh, 114, 114. Let's see what I've got currently equipped. That's the same. And this is negative 15% from robots. All right. We'll go ahead and equip that. Oh, but I don't have a jetpack. Yeah, that torso doesn't have a jetpack, so I need that. Extra. Ooh. Oh, what? Why is it always mannequins? Look at that brutal mannequin, dude. Oh. He's got eyeballs sticking out of his head. that all right well my vats is um there we go he was hiding like a ghoul so sorry I missed that I was I was zoned in there was a there was a donation a very generous donation to st. Jude's thank you so much sorry I missed it but it did pop up on the screen there and this is the other way that goes around. Is this the exit? Yeah, this uh, is the exit sign. All right, so I think we've explored everything along this path so far. Whoa. Wow. How is that even possible? How did those walls... <laughs> how have those walls not crumbled? That's some uh, interesting masonry work there. Okay, we could go that way, but there's another building over here. Inside objective... Oop, there we go. Alright, I've got a couple of... Um, ah! Oh, yeah. Moonflower pruned. A stunning debut. And still only the beginning. You waited in the second act. Through showman's 
king and down to the aquarium. There you will be granted another challenge by the mother of all showmen, our devoted, dazzling Charlotte. Now, set your sights on the finish. Conquer your rivals at any cost. The worthy shall have victory. Charlotte, we read about her in the notes at uh, the casino in our last episode. Uh, she's, I guess, one of the, the other bosses, and she was talking with um, the leader of... And I don't even remember their names. There's the showmen, there's the guys. I've been in here, haven't I? Oh, how did they get in here? Right, well, um, I don't see any more competitors for me to emote over, and I think there was a bit of a glitch. Otherwise, I would have uh, completed the optional objective. If you kill a bunch of competitors one after another, you can only emote after the last corpse that you killed. Even if you emote over the others, it doesn't count. So you really need to kill one, emote over it, kill another, emote over it, which is awkward when you're in the middle of battle because they're all shooting at you while you're trying to emote over their corpses. So I'm not gonna get that optional challenge uh, due to an oversight, I think, on the way this was implemented. Unless I'm gonna have further opportunities inside, which I might. So let's try that. sound nice. All right, my gun is about to break. Um, I've got a repair kit. Because if this gun breaks, I don't know what I'm going to do. little candy Nuka-Cola bottles. Reach for a nuke. Oh, I want one of those. That looks cool. Any notes? Any lore? Love that Far Harbor fog. Okay, before we go through there, let's finish exploring this area over here. Another employees only section. And it's a break room. No notes, no lore. Oh man, I love this. I love this pier. All right, now to emote over the corpse before the other guys find me so I can actually get credit for it. I didn't get credit for it. What am I doing wrong? I didn't get credit for it. I guess he was too far away when I killed him. 
That's bullcrap, man. I call shenanigans. Shenanigans. Basavo plays says ox just emote after you kill them, not over the corpse. Oh. I don't have to... Oh, see, I, I was going back to my, you know, teabagging days where you have to run up to the corpse and show your, your respect. I guess I was showing my respect in the wrong way. Almost there. I have to be. Okay. Emote right after I kill them. Hey, thank you, Mary, with a donation to St. Jude's. I'm not ready to go down. I'll only the best make it there. Well, I don't think I have enough uh, guys left alive to complete the optional challenge now. I need to do I four more. You. There we go. Now, let's finish it. Get out of my way. Oh, it hurts. Something screwed. That could have been me. Finish. Fine. Got One more to go. Where are you? did it. All right, optional. Find a polar bear in Showman's Pier. All right, uh, I'm guessing the polar bear is the stuffed animal that she wanted me to get. So it's probably just lying around here somewhere. Polar bear, polar bear. Let's see if we can find a polar bear. So that looks back out there. Just so we've connected the dots. Fun stuff. This looks like a good place to find a polar bear in the fun stuff section. Nope, no polar bear. We already went up there. Maybe behind the bar? Will we find a polar bear behind the bar? No. Ah, gift shop. No, kitchen. There it is. I found the polar bear. There's that. Oh, it, oh, it's right there. Oh. Polar bear. Prized Teddy Claim. I ripped off its head. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> That's a great animation. I just tore off its head. <laughs> Can I do it again? No. Okay, I need to defeat Julian as part of the next challenge. Let's take a look at the stage here. Oh, look at these lounge singers. Yeah.
That's a great shot. Is that a Rocket 69? Yeah, of course, Vega. Beautiful. I love the cars in the Fallout universe, which is why I'm even more disappointed that they didn't get cars correctly in the uh, TV show. I'm not ready to go down. Only the best make it there. What's with the smoke? I heard something! Man, I can't waste time on this. I have to keep going. Wherever you are, it's you or me. How Got tricky. It. <laughs> ah! Dude with a flamer comes behind. Shit. Here they come. You won't get away again. It's here now. My arm. Sneaky, stealthy lady. Stop it. Stop it. My eyes. Everything. I'm over. over this. Yeah. Oh, my God. We were supposed to make it together. Catch me if you can. Dude is just tearing me up. Impressive, but you haven't won yet. 
brother and I will be waiting for you. All right, well, I got her. Now I just gotta find flamethrower, dude. Alright, so I can't kill her. She just sort of sits there after I knock her out. Flamethrower guy, where'd you go? Right, let's take a look at these games and stuff in here. Right, a lot of this is from Nuka World. Ooh. Laser light duck shooting gallery. Oh, I gotta be out of power armor. Duck hunt! That was wonderful. Thank you. Another horse race, and this one doesn't cost me money, right? Oh, I can't use it? Oh. Arm wrestle machine. Yeah. Take that, vault girl. I'm super strong. Hey, I feel charismatic. Clown punk ball toss. <laughs> Knock him down, ox. Oh, come on. Do better than that. Get them all. Oh, what? Come on. Focus, ox. Use your eyes! No! Then it just repeats, doesn't it? All right. Fortune teller machine. I feel lucky. Wizard's fortune number 36 added. Death, oh no. He predicts death? No. Wizard's Fortune 80 or 36. If you want to grow a beanstalk, use chemicals, not magic. Give me another one. Wizard's Fortune 22. I feel lucky again. On fertile ground, go forth and be well, and try not to chat. Give me another one! Wizard's Fortune 27. Fortune not found. Please contact a supervisor for support. All right. Did the um, 
Luck plus 12. Let's see if they stack. Fortune 22. Oh, they don't stack. Oh, I already got that one. Uh. We played pool in our last episode. That was fun. Ooh. Can go back here. Nice. Any notes? Any lore? That's a bunch of Nuka Cade tickets. Wow, look at that oversized bear. I want an oversized bear. You're just gonna sit there, aren't you? Bleeding out. Poor lady. <laughs> right. Anything else? Eat here. Show me some tasty vittles. Any food? No, I can't eat here. There's no food. All right, well, we got to go beat the other guy. Enter the Aquarium of the Atlantic. Yeah, I want to see all sorts of creepy, crazy, mutated underwater creatures. Whoa, are we going underwater? Is this a diving suit? Or an elevator? Okay, it was an elevator, and we're in an underwater aquarium. That's cool. Oh man, getting some Bioshock vibes. If this is your first time competing, or your tenth, if you've ever felt misunderstood, or held back from your true potential, Mother sees you. I'd like for our brave contestants to enter the shark's den and prove their dominance. Lay claim to your territory. Defend it from all who would seek to dethrone you. Hey, Canadian Remain Ben! Remain until the end, and you shall perform for me personally in the grand finale. Thank you, Canadian Ben, for the very generous $50 donation to St. Jude's. All right, that was Mother Charlotte. Triton's Den. Our beer, our brand new underwater restaurant. Built inside a real ocean ocean cavern that's been drained. Wow. Sea turtle exhibit. The amazing sea turtle exhibit. Siren theater. Okay. Can we get back there? Yeah. Okay, we got some fishies back there. Are those real or are they like animatronic? Wet floor. That's cute. That's a salmon. Are those real or fake? Whoa, is that a big whale? Yeah, it's a big blue whale. Oh, there's a map. You are here. Dear God, this is huge. Elevators, lobby, box office, Great Hall, Beluga Whale Exhibit, North Observation Lounge, Petting, Pod, Restrooms, Siren Theater, Shark's Den, Gift Shop, Triton's Den Restaurant. And we need to go to the Shark's Den, which is 10. All right, so that's there. Oh my God, this, I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get turned around. Manta petting. Aquarium 
Team of the Atlantic, welcome to the petting pool. We ask that all patrons please use caution when handling the animals. Please enjoy your time with us. Be sure to check our fun facts down below. Stingray facts. Gotta win. I'm gonna win this. Uh-oh. Stingrays get their name from the venomous barbs in their tails. Ouch! Please watch those fingers. Management is not responsible for any injuries. The stingray's mouth and nostrils make them look like they're always happy. Go on, flip one over and see for yourself. Stingrays have no bones. Ooh, spooky. Where did they go? Dear God. Starfish facts. The humble starfish is neither a fish nor a star. Huh? This is the final stage, right? They don't have a brain and see with their legs. Weird. They're, they also are notorious for their ability to regenerate missing limbs. Whoa! We ask that patrons please refrain, refrain from dismembering the starfish. <laughs> Set up an aquarium in New Jersey and everyone cuts up the starfish. How yeah, that, uh, that tracks. That tracks. Horseshoe crab facts. Like the starfish, the horseshoe crab is not an actual horse, shoe, or crab. How confusing. Did you know they also have blue blood? Gross. Their blood is also vital to the pharmaceutical industry. How practical. They're also much older than the dinosaur. Neat. What was, what did they tell me to do again? Well, that was delightful. Okay, I am officially overcumbered now. Let's get rid of some of my food and drink. This whole thing is insane. Three super stim packs, a pound and a half each. Yikes. I'm running low on stim packs, though. Uh oh. All right, gotta get rid of 15 pounds. Let's drop a lot of this. That almost did it. There, that did it. Right, I think I want those super stim packs back. I better wait it out. Take the point at the end. No, 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 no. What am I thinking? It's too late to change my mind. Shit! Let's... No! I'm almost there. here and finish this Ooh. this is quite the bathroom to navigate we've got a couple of floors here Screwed up! 
line. I've given up everything! This can't be. It. All right. I don't think we're in the shark's den. Is no! this the shark's den? I won't let you hide! We need to go over there. Where'd you go, lady? Thank you for the donation to St. Jude's. Okay. Let's see if we can find our way to where we need to go. Uh, that way. Uh, what's this way? Oh, that goes back there. That goes back there. Thomas McCormick says, Ox, are you certain you're the good guy in this DLC? I see you killing a lot of people who aren't, like, intrinsically bad. <laughs> That's true. We are doing a lot of murder. Whoa! Egg Shen with a $500 donation to the kids of St. Jude. Amazing! Egg Shen, thank you so much. That puts us at $8,222. Holy cow, $10,000 mark is in sight. We're we're on our way. Can we breach that $10,000 line by the end of the broadcast? I sure hope so. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, so these are all competitors. They're all in the same competition we are, and they're trying to kill us. It's just a competition to the death. Not really moral, it's just... Awful, I guess unethical, I, I suppose. Sturgeon fish. Stone fish. Oh look, there's a little submarine over there. Is this the actual ocean bottom? Or no, it's a hollowed out cave, isn't it? There's this, there's a ruined submarine over there. Hey, Philip McQuillan, thank you so much, Philip. Gotta make it to the finish. Shit! What did I...
Yay, I'm net positive stim packs. I'm so glad each and every one of these guys is dropping one or two stim packs because I've been going through a lot, a lot of stim packs. Okay, I think that was it. I thought I heard someone else, though. As soon as I claim this, they're gonna swarm me, aren't they? <laughs> Fend off rival competitors! Have a shovel? This time, it'll be me. Dude's just got a shovel. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Okay, and she, she's got a freaking machine gun. I'm gonna be the <laughs> no, that's a that's an RPG launcher or something. Like, jeez, it was more than a machine gun. All right, how many more? One more. I won't let you take this from me. It was a grenade launcher is what it was. Hey, Regin Leaf with a donation to St. Jude's, a hundred dollars. Thank you. Cap, cap, cap. Is that possible? Cap. No, I won't let you hide. Come on, take it. Why won't it let me take it? I'm not close enough, maybe? Oh, this no can't fighting. be. 
$250 by Tarek. Thank you very much. Oh my God, we might actually do this. Big price. I'm encumbered again, and I don't know how. I haven't looted a lot of really heavy stuff. I'm eight pounds. And now I'm four pounds. You're mine now! I'll come out on top! Me! I just have to, to kill everyone, right? <laughs> right. Don't run again! Claimed. Yay! Philip For inspiring me and all those watching, I grant you the glory of the winner's stage, where you, in one final oh, act, may secure your absolute victory. One final act to secure victory, okay. Philip McQuillan says, fantastic work you're doing, Ox. Just been going through your Mass Effect playthrough for the third time. Do you think you'll ever do a Renegade playthrough? Oh, I don't know. I uh, really thoroughly enjoyed the story. Um, that's why I played it, and I've, I've gotten through the story, so I don't think I'll probably do it again. Uh, but it was such a fun game to play. A game that I kind of missed when it came out. I wasn't, oh man, now I'm encumbered again. God. It's probably ammunition types. Let me drop all the ammunition I don't need. But yeah, I played Mass Effect for the story and I got the story, it was great. Whew. Well, we're almost back up to where we were with our um, two millimeter electromagnetic ammunition. When I started this DLC, we were at 900 and something and we're, we're slowly crawling our way back. All right, let me drop ammunition types that I don't use. Hey, thank you, War World Dommy. Let's start by weight. Fusion cells. Okay, so this must be... All right, this is... Huh. Um, it must not be ammo. I don't need this. That didn't do it. It's not that. Must be junk. Yeah, five pounds there. Wow, why do I have all this stuff? All those tin cans? All right. Wow, that was 30 pounds worth of junk that I didn't realize I had. Hooey. How am I doing on stim packs? I was less than 20 earlier. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting my stim packs back. These guys drop a lot. Joe Schmo says, wow, that was a ton of mobs. It was, but I, I handled it, and I handled it so much better 
uh, in this one than the last one, <laughs> because yesterday they just spawned a hundred guys right on top of me, right in an area where I'm trying to complete a quest objective, and that was just, like, I'm... I, that's gotta have been a glitch, <clears throat> because the way they did it here was much better. They did it waves at a time. Five or six guys, five or six guys, I take them out, five or six guys. I get through a lot, but this, I, I was able to pace myself and heal myself and, you know, keep up with my ammo and occasionally loot. When they just dumped a hundred guys on me in the last, in the last episode, it, it just, I, I, it must have been a glitch. Surely that wasn't intentional. It's you or me! Got it? Whoops, should have reloaded there. A lot of competitors. Gift shop. Camouflaged bastard. Doggone camouflaged bastard. Stepped on a stonefish while I was cleaning out the tanks. Hurts like hell, and the anti-venom isn't doing crap. Been three, four days now. At this rate, I'm not going to last another night. Marty was just telling me he fixed the elevator, though. Pretty smart for a guy with flippers. <laughs> Once I get back to the surface, I'll come back for you guys, I promise. Killed by stepping on a poisonous stonefish. Ouch, what a way to go. Catfish. Oh, they're playing elevator music in here. Oh, there he is. Oh, there she is. There's mother. All right, they want me to walk in here, don't they? As soon as I walk in, they're going to swarm me with more. So it comes down to this. A battle between two victors, both dominant in their own right. Prove your way and claim ah! your superiority. Good one! Oh! <laughs> Give me all you have! You said a battle between two victors! I've been waiting for 
for you. Dude's just got a sledgehammer. Going for it. <laughs> Full suit of T-51 power armor and she's in a leather jacket. <laughs> Let's get to know each other. Here you go. Rightfully name you our sensation. Now come up to the box and grant me the honor of meeting a champion. I often think, what makes a champion? Is it the fire in their eyes? The strength in their muscles? The fuel in their belly? Each new victor brings Humanity a different answer. The dust of its own what is yours? I reject this decay. We are born to live. My question is, why aren't they dead? This was a, a fight to the death, right? Every, every other competitor died, but I couldn't kill the twins? We could say I just got lucky. Peak performance requires proper conditions. Sleep, nutrition, mental health. With the right motivation, anyone can accomplish credible things. There's no one thing. It's a combination of factors, factors, or well, obviously, I'm the best. I teach all my children confidence. It opens the door to opportunity, paves the way for potential to shine. But arrogance. Oh, how it wipes the gleam off an enticing prize. How it makes the most beloved icon suddenly drab and grotesque. Wield your confidence tastefully, sensation. Else it become your disgrace. Yes. Airs of civility, contentment, gracious. So you're in charge of the showman. We are artists. Innovators, entrepreneurs, philosophers. But yes, above all, we are showmen. A family I started. But it has grown so much bigger than I could have imagined. These moments between are torturous. How did the showmen come to be? Panic followed the bombs. The social structure collapsed. So did drive. 
and meaning. Nobody wanted to perform anymore. Even if they did, it was too dangerous. Or there were more important needs at hand. To keep my craft alive, I had to create a safe place for it. A family of performers, each provided with unconditional support and protection. The show must go on, after all. Even past the end of the world. Don't say the word family. I'm burned after Marsha. What do the showmen do other than the game? We keep this city alive. Games, gambles, performances, things that keep a sparkle in people's eyes. Imaginations must keep wandering. Otherwise, humanity is as good as dead. Are you all insane? <laughs> Insane we are chuckle. much more than insane, oh, sweetheart. To box us into such a degrading word. I despise it. If you truly seek to understand us, then I invite you to come back and play again. Maybe next time you'll learn something. Whatever may strike your fancy. I'd like to know more about you. Oh, there is only so much we can glean from conversation alone. But by all means, ask away. Why do you call yourself mother? It takes a child to make a mother. My children trust that I still have something to teach them. That they can come to me for comfort and acceptance. So many were orphaned by the war, whether they lost their parents, their livelihood, or their will to live. To those who need a mother's guidance, I will the give all that they are willing to take. How it pales in the passion of oh man, this other dude needs to stop talking. Until I get to him, what do you think makes a champion? It would be all too simple for me to tell you. A champion must find that answer for themselves. Otherwise, they will never be one. Zombie Elf on Twitch says, You could have just drunk all of the Nuka Cola you had. I suppose so, but that would have taken time. OC320 says, Ox, press R and collect all the ammo in one go. Oh, really? Cool, I'll try that next time. John3N on Twitch says, It's obviously rigged. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, if a power armor wearing guy is getting that much damage from a lady in a leather jacket. But oh well. Mythos Errol on Twitch says, any thoughts on the Bioshock movie coming to Netflix? I haven't really heard much about it, but I mean, I loved the Bioshock games, so I'm really uh, excited to hear that a movie is coming to Netflix. I get the impression you're not showing us your true self. We all have different faces. That doesn't make any one of them less real. Not unless you decide that, of course. To you, I'm Charlotte. To my children, I am mother. To my enemies, well, let's just hope you never need to see that face. Contentment, graciousness. Well, now we understand why the letter that we found at the casino yesterday was very intimate, I guess. It was doting and just written really weirdly. It comes from this lady who's cosplaying as a mother figure, <laughs> strangely enough. All right, let's talk about something just else. when we were getting to know each other so well. Oh, weird, weird lady. Let's talk about the most sensational game. One of my children's greatest innovations. We have truly created the experience of a lifetime. Who invented the game? That would be my darling, Horatio. And how proud I am. What is the purpose of the game? What is the purpose of any entertainment? To feel alive, to find meaning, to you learn something about yourself. 
Most look upon bloodshed as tragedy. I see opportunity. This war gave us all a chance to rediscover who we are, why humanity exists. No longer do we live in perfect safety without ever knowing our own capabilities. We must survive. And so, we must face ourselves. I mean, so it's gladiatorial combat, sure. We killed probably, what, a hundred people? While we were going through here playing the game? That's a lot of bodies each and every day to die during this game. And you'd think there's enough death and destruction out there in the post-apocalypse without needing a game like this to keep people alive and so they know themselves and they can face humanity or whatever. Are you insane? This game is morbid and inhumane. Well, at least we have this option. My darling child, you have been taught to believe it is morbid and inhumane. Taught? Really? The rules of the pre-war world bound us, shackled us. If it is our true wish, should we not battle with our lives to reach the finish? Should we not learn just how far our wills can take us? If the game had no entrance, there would be no game to run. Yeah, but what's the prize? Why are so many people entering this game? I just won it. What's going to be my prize? Perhaps the best way to understand the game is by playing it. Did that. Still confused. All right, uh, well, we have to talk to her to leave, but I'm not ready yet. Because there's lore lying around here. The mouse and the bull. A single victory is cause for celebration. Oh, wait, no, we read this already. Okay, so we're getting duplicate lore to leave. spread throughout this place. All right, buddy, could you just be quiet? You have a certain look about you. Next time, you must grant me the privilege of an encore. So you created the most sensational game. Perhaps it would be more accurate to say the game possessed my vision. <laughs> An unmet need to be answered. A decadent playground upon which to answer it. I simply provided the backdrop. The guardian voice granting permission. It is the players who create the game. How often must I be disappointed? What inspired you to create the game? A desire to uncover the true limits of humanity. The greatest capacity for strength and willpower that can be found in the heart of an individual. How many heroes lived and died without ever knowing their worth? How many warriors succumbed to defeat because no one told them it was possible to fight? I have pushed many past their limits. But without something to fight for, they wither and crumble. The title of sensation grants focus to dormant ambition. In an arena with true freedom, it is possible to test just how far that ambition will reach. I've given everything to my children, and still... Great work, Veraccio. I love completing in the game. The or competing in the game where we could say your game is barbaric. Above. Such judgments are meaningless to me. The game is open to all. If you have no further wish to compete, do not waste my time with colorless insults. It sounds to my ears like the oblivious cries of an infant. <laughs> and we can say what he says if we say great work. I am not the one to be congratulated, Sensation. You have emerged transformed from every challenge, embodying my greatest hopes for the game. Well, that's enough. Yes, enough drivel. Show me in action. How did you come to join the showman? Once upon a time, I clawed at rusted cage bars, begging for scraps from my raider masters. Their overconfidence left me an opportunity. I turned the whip upon them, broke their bodies and their spirits, held their hands, and guided them to death's comforting embrace. In this city of vice, depravity reigns in another form. A slow and desperate decline. 
Amidst it all, a troop of thespians, we showmen, keep life's spirit alive to be broken. Here, there is an endless stream of desperados clawing for one more fix, willing to give anything. What could be more tantalizing to play with? Tell me more about what happened to you before coming here. So much of it is but a dream to me now. I lived in a haze, driven by hunger and instinct. I do more than an animal. I was a wild dog my masters took an interest in. How vicious he was when they captured him. A hunter, master of his territory. Yet after they starved this predator, and dangled food before his slavering maw, he learned to respond obediently to their slightest gesture. It was like looking into a mirror. My eyes open. I became fascinated with how changeable we are. How readily one's spirit could be manipulated. There is so much more to us than we know. For years, I know not how many, I thought myself a powerless slave. What do you see now? I've given everything to my children. Can we answer? Still, it's nope. not enough. Are you a sadist? Pain the is it merely a tool in an arsenal. Above. With so many ways to prod the human spirit, one can never predict what may emerge from the other side. Those who crumble at the first test are of no interest to me. But those who endure, adapt, transform, those such as you. Through conflict and inspiration, we benefit each other mutually. Why all the over-the-top showmanship? Inspiration! A departure from the tedium of the social contracts. How does one wake the thrall who sleepwalks through daily life? A jolt of the unusual, the fantastic. It is our charge as showmen to remind people of the impossible. Glory is the artist's birthright. Goodbye. Let us meet again to write another chapter together. Well, this poor guy was tortured Fortune by raiders. Fortune favors the ball. Take that into your heart. Turning him into the Find man that he is now. The lone vulture. A vulture has come to my city. He does not kill, but shepherds prey to their death. For what feast would there be in a quick and I easy must demise? Push them past no, their limits. for him the feast Break is their struggle. Their true Dessert potential. is when the last glimmer of hope leaves their eyes. He has yet to find his place. It's different here in the city, where a semblance of order keeps the ignorant populace at peace. Yet he has come here, and thus with, reason, with a reason, searching, yearning for a nest to call his own. Mother welcomes you, my child. This world would call you a monster. I would call you my own. I would give you a calling. To freedom. Do you hear me, child? It was in when destruction, you there is creation. Direct your impulses. Channel them towards begins. a higher purpose. I can see the shape of it now. A venue for others like you. Others with hunger. A place for them to be free. In this, you shall never be alone again. Mother welcomes you home, Fear. sweet Veraccio. If only I could remember the taste of it. Progress is complete. Oh, stop talking! We you guys are just right. talking so much. All right, uh, I will talk to her when I'm ready to leave. Finish exploring. Ooh, got a tugboat there. This place. Oh. Nice decorations. Exquisite dining set out for all. All right, this goes back down to the ground floor. Okay, I think I just need to talk to her to leave. Well, I gotta say, what a cool place to explore. How rare it is to so much this overcome. Let this not be your last performance. 
You still have so much to give. I'm ready to leave. How do I get out of here? We'll handle that, my darling. Just close your eyes and think happy thoughts. <laughs> what? Here we go. Oh, we're Are they not? Teleported hey. out. <laughs> just teleport me out. We'll take care of that. Close your eyes, think happy thoughts, and magic. 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 <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, here we go. Now look at that, it is magic. We get teleported out and everything is blurry. Oh no, why is everything blurry? I didn't fade in correctly, here we go. There, I can see. All right, well there's the vertebrate. We just got teleported here, I guess. That saves us a walk. Hey, look at all these drugs. So that's my reward. Drugs and ammo. What were all those people fighting for? What was the big reward they were gonna get? Okay. Glad she held on the way in. We'll see about the way out. You ready to get airborne? What happened? How did I get up here? I saw some goon in funny clothes drop you off up there. Would have gone to check on you, but I'm not leaving the bird unattended. Whatever's going on here gives me the heebie-jeebies, and that's saying something. I once dropped off a ranger to let him scout an island. Half a day later, he came sprinting out of the jungle, followed by an army of singing crabs. Crabs patterned up with war paint, belting it out like opera singers in the final act. What? And I swear to God, their claws were metal, gleaming in the sun. Never did find out what was happening on that island. The ranger wouldn't speak of it. Poor guy probably never ate seafood again. What? <laughs> is that foreshadowing for something? An island inhabited by singing painted up crabs with metal claws? <laughs> okay, so those are clearly people with like swords or claw-like swords all painted up. What was that? <laughs> all right, take me home. Hop in and I'll fire her up. <sighs> All right, emoted after taking down competitors, check. Found Julian's prize, Teddy, check. Won the game expeditiously, uncheck, because I don't like timers. I got a Ghoul Slayer's Excavator leg, an Aristocrat's Hellcat right arm, some stamps, legendary modules, legendary script, a power fist, another torso, a dagger, some stim packs, and ammo. Best Tutor says, Crab people, crab people, walk like crab, look like people. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the story right there. And we're back home. Look at that. Well, there we go. Those are the two Atlantic City expeditions that we can do so far. Thanks for joining me for that part of the program. The charity stream is not done. Where are we at? This We're at 8,617 dollars, everybody. Oh my God. Your generosity is just astounding. All of that for the children of St. Jude's. It's amazing. I've got... 
I've got another hour and a half less left in the broadcast, and we're going to play some of the other games that we've played during our charity live stream this week. But before we do that, I need a quick bio break. Hang tight, everybody, in my camp with SantaBot to entertain you. I will be right back, and then we'll continue with more of the charity broadcast. Hang tight, everybody. Doctor away my ass. Just a lie spread by orchard lobbyists. Where are my little elves? No, really, I fear for their safety. Attempt to acquire a Christmas tree has failed reason. All trees contain highly dangerous levels of radiation. Mankind is a naughty plague on this gentle planet. Oh, oh, oh. gas mask next time I stop in the ash heap. Naughty, nice parameters. Loading, complete, ready to make list, ready to check twice. that route north from the patient and foundation. Evaluating naughtiness levels. Evaluation complete. 
naughtiness levels exceed all projections. All right. What has this world become? And we're back. Well, uh, I think this last expedition that we went on. Was much better than yesterday's, obviously. It was, um, I didn't feel overwhelmed. I didn't feel like it was broken. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the exploration and the set design. The buildings were amazing. What, what I think what, what failed in the last one is we were supposed to go inside this big casino. And we get inside the casino and there was nobody there. Which is weird because even some of the... Um, uh, the, the promotional screenshots for Atlantic City showed people at the slot machines, right? It's supposed to be a casino where people are dumping a lot of money. I mean, the entire plot is that they're making money even after the apocalypse in this casino from people going there to spend money, which is why the tax coll collectors are on their tail because they're cooking the books, so to speak. And yet there was no one inside. It just seemed a little dead. Um, and then, of course, the the quest, <laughs> the, the introductory quest seemed broken. Like it, it, I feel like they didn't, um, that that wasn't intentional. Having so many guys drop down, it was just, just literally hundreds of guys. This one uh, was much more streamlined. Each group of enemies we went into, it seemed much better paced. Uh, so yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was great. Uh, Random Fandom says, remind Ox to check notes and plans. Nono says, don't forget to get your rewards from the scoreboard. Paint for your combat shotgun. All right, stuff like that. I will definitely tackle it. I despise timers with a passion, says Mikoto, and I do as well. In a game like this, um, well, I, I, I take that back. In this game, I, I have a feeling that they, they're designing so many encounters to be group group encounters and in a group situation you don't really have a have time as a solo player to smell the roses i recall when vault 94 first dropped i did a live stream with a number of other youtubers and um i was excited to get inside this vault and as vault 94 was hey thank you very much von Reck. as vault 94 was when it first launched it wasn't designed for you to explore every room and really, you know, smell the roses and find out what the story was. No, they wanted you to go from event to event to event and everything was on a timer and everyone felt rushed and I was frustrated because I wanted to read all of the notes and the hollow tapes and really take my time, but we couldn't because we had these timers and it was exasperating. And that's the feeling I got in last, in yesterday's broadcast, especially at the beginning. And they even had some timers in here and by ignoring the timer, it was much more pleasant for me because I just, I got to explore the boardwalk and go into all of the rooms and find many notes and take my time. That's what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to take my time. So, I mean, I'm with you on that. I don't like timers in general, but overall I, I uh, much preferred today's expedition compared to yesterday's. Now, um, we have uh, played a number of interesting games, but the one that I, I enjoyed the most and that I'm most interested in continuing is Dredge. So let's get Dredge fired back up again, and let's see what's on the back end of that island. Remember, we found out that there's something glowing back there that we need to discover. John M. says, what's the link to donate? Thank you, John M. Uh, there's a link in the description that you can click on that'll take you right to Tiltify, uh, which is collecting donations for St. Jude's. Also, if you're watching on mobile and you can't click on the link, there's a QR code on the screen that you can snap with your camera, and that'll take you again to a page where you can donate to St. Jude's. We've been making great progress. 8,676. Will we cross the $10,000 marker? We've got an hour and 15 minutes left in my charity live streams for the season. Just an hour and 15 minutes left. Will we get over that $10,000 marker? That would just absolutely thrill me if we can do that. But already I'm blown away by all of your generosity. Chad says, you're not doing power wash? <laughs> I, I had fun. 
with Power Wash uh, Simulator yesterday. <laughs> but then I took a look at my analytics and, you know, Fallout 76 and then Power Wash Simulator, boom, just like I lost half my viewers because they didn't want to watch me wash a truck for an hour and a half. <laughs> Though I was having fun, I could do Viscera Cleanup Detail and Power Wash, Wash Simulator all day. Just great stuff. But I'm equally interested in Dredge. This game is, uh, there's a lot to it beyond fishing which intrigues me. Let's continue. Okay. We've talked to everyone in town. We need to go to this X over here in Greater Morrow, behind Greater Morrow. Do we have to go there at night? I'm not sure. Let's go. Select the crab pot ability with E and deploy it with right click. They catch things over time but need repairing ever so often. Okay. There's my crab pot. Hey, thank you, Slatty Bartfast. $25 donation. with a $50 donation. Thank you so much, Stacy. Ooh, what is that? There's something glittering over here. A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. All right, well. We need to get some explosives before we can explore further. But let's see if we can get behind here to where this light was coming from. It's already 10 a.m. There's another one. What's that? Oh, man. A stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface. Vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. We can place our hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to my touch. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. We pull a little closer and we can look inside. Okay, we've got some boards. A citrine ring. Yay, a research part. An old iron chain and some lumber. Are we on the wrong side of the island? We are. Shoot, we need to go over there. Can we fish for dolphin? That would be unethical, right? We can't we can't fish for dolphin, can we? Here we go. Shapes in the deep. Start dredging. Oh! Relic discovered! Return to the collector! 
pursuit updated. Okay. It's already 8.30. We got to get back home. How is it 8.30 already? Hey, Clueless and Cali, $25 donation. Thank you so much. Ooh, we got nothing. No, we got a grouper. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, hull damaged. Oh, crap. There's a big fish trying to eat me. Did you see that? <laughs> Shoot. Back to the lighthouse. How close are we? Oh, we need to go around. Fog is making it tricky. My light just went out. No! I don't have the right equipment for this spot. There's my crab pot. All right, a common crab. Hmm. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, Taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's uh, go to the fishmonger. Have you got any crabs for that order? Yes, we can say. Don't forget your crab pots get a bit worn out. The shipwright should be able to patch them up. All right, we need a fiddler crab. Let's sell the grouper. And then we need to get the hull repaired at the shipwright. Um, a gold ring clasping a glowing citrine. Let's go to the shipwright. Ah. Uh. If you're wanting to get a little bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book on the house. Correct engine operation added to the cabin. She pulls a book from a toolbox nearby and hands it to me. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. Let's go to repair all, 90 bucks. Oh, God. Repair mode active, fix damage and restore durability. Interesting. So that's different from repair all. Okay, so we've got two tasks. We need to go to the builder and we need to go to the collector. Let's go to our research. Do we have any more research points? We've got, two, we've got one research part. That's going to take two research parts. We researched this, but we don't have enough to afford it. We currently have the improved outboard engine. We could get a pot that's an efficient crab pot. That's a hardy crab pot. pot. Lasts for five days, lasts for three days, and nets. We, do, we can't afford a net just yet. Well, I really want to start working on my engine. I, I'm going to hold on to my well, we also need new fishing poles as well 
coastal, shallow, mangrove, and volcanic. I need to be able to get that so that I can fish oceanic. Ah. That's 410. I can't afford it yet. Okay, let's rest. Dog meat! Dog meat donated a thousand dollars to the kids of St. Jude. That puts us at nine thousand seven hundred and seventy-six dollars. Amazing contribution. Thank you so much for your generosity. That's putting us even closer to passing that ten thousand dollar marker. Holy cow, what an amazing contribution. Dog meat, you've made my day. Thank you so much. Sustainable fishing, reading complete. Check the cabin for bonuses. All right, uh, I guess we gotta do that back. Well, maybe we can do that here. We enter the collector's house. He is standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. <sighs> well, you have something, don't you? Show me. We hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head. Now someone seems changed smaller. Or now somehow seems changed and smaller. Has it always been this way? <clears throat> Is that all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we are looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills our vision, and we stagger back briefly. <clears throat> Ability unlocked, haste, otherworldly speed at a price. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have uh, carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map, thank you, Preston, where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? <sighs> the book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Haste, we can say. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. <sighs> are there other powers you wish to know more about? Never mind, we can say. Um, do you know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. <laughs> An old friend. Anything else? Take a look at these trinkets, we can say. <sighs> Do not bother me with common clutter. I hear that the trader in Little Morrow deals with such trivialities. Anything else? All right, that's it. Can we open the workshop yet? It's still locked. Okay, let's go to Little Morrow and then the worker. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Select it with E and use it by, by holding right click. Oh, 
that? We found a grieving father. Hello, is everything okay, he says. What do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore. Hey, Dethica with a $25 donation. Thank you so much, Dethica. I don't get out anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. <sighs> begging anyone who would listen. Hey, cannibal, cannibal Bananas with a $35 donation. $35 donation. Thank you, Cannibal Bananas. And some Texan with a $10 donation. Look at that. We're at $9,800. And forty-six dollars. We are so close to uh, to our ten thousand dollar goal. Begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? We can say. Uh. Well, yes. You see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone, in the cold, dark water. Oh, this is getting so, kind of depressing. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I notice you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specific, especially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. Is there a chance you could find it? I'd be in your debt. Anything else I can help you with? And that's it. Now we can go to the trader. Ah. And we can talk to him about the citrine ring. Uh, Okay, so we can sell all trinkets. 32 bucks, great. A painter. <sighs> ah, the fisherman. I had thought you might stop by. Welcome to my humble studio. If you're wanting to experiment with some decorations, yes, I am the person to talk to. What sort of decorations we can have? <sighs> I could attach flags and bunting to add some style to your boat. I have a design here already that you might like. If you find any others on your travels, bring them back to me, and I can rig them up for you. <sighs> of course, I can also add a splash of color to your hull. I'm sorry to say that my selection of pigments is limited at the moment, though. Could I help find more pigments we can ask? Mm. Hmm. He thinks for a short while. The other day, down by the shoreline, I saw a strange crab with the most strikingly vibrant coloration. <sighs> My knees aren't suited to clambering over rocks and chasing crustaceans, you see. But if you caught such a creature, he clears scraps of cloth and paper from his workbench, revealing a large pestle and mortar. With the right binding agent, we can grind them together for a new mixture. He turns back to me. A cunning plan formed in his mind. <clears throat> Fisherman, bring me some of those strange crabs. We'll turn your vessel into a work of art. But, uh, for now, what can I help you with today? What do you do here, we can say? Hmm. I can attach flags and bunting to ab add some style to your boat. I have a design here already you might like. Oh, we already read this. <sighs> Okay, let's, uh, deliver a flag. <clears throat> you don't seem to have any new flags with you. Come back when you find some. Mm. Okay. Have you tried searching the north of the Moros? What can I help you with today? All right, let's try changing the flag. Uh, which flag do I want to display? A fish flag, an anchor flag, or a hook flag? Or next, pl next page, pirate, eye, sea serpent, or roboros. But we don't have these. So let's try fish flag. <laughs> As you wish. Alt Grendel says hello, Ox and Chat. A blanket hello for everyone. Hey there, Alt Grendel. So good to see you. 
Now we can try to adjust the bunting. Uh, bunting on. Okay. Let's try to paint the boat. Let's paint the roof. And we can paint it rusty red, seaweed green, blue depths, or sharp mint. I don't have the right pigment to make that color, he says. We need to deliver crabs. Oh, let's see. Hmm? So to unlock sharp mint and maple orange, royal purple, golden treasure, black abyss, we've got to get some crabs. So instead we'll try, let's try uh, rusty red. Hmm. Let's try the hall. Uh, let's try blue depths. Hmm. And that's it. We can leave. It doesn't look much different. Okay, let's go to the carpenter if we can get there before nightfall. Because we have some scrap to deliver. We got pearl earrings. Oh no. Is that a ghost ship? Oh no, is that a ghost ship? Oh dear lord. We arrived at Steel Point. Let's go to the material pile. This is the island where the builder wants materials to be delivered. Metal scraps, we don't have that. All right, so we need to get two metal scraps. And let's sleep until morning, because I'm starting to get freaked out with the ghost ship. Okay, let's go to the cabin. This is the new book that we got. We just completed sustainable fishing. A 10% chance not to reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Next is rods, reels, and rigs, or correct engine operation. Let's start reading that. And let's take a look at our map. So there's our crab pot. We need to go get it. And then at the back of Little Morrow, I believe, are some pigments that we can get. Is there anything else that was marked on our map? Yeah, way over here. That's a long way to go. I think we should start working on, we should focus on upgrading our ship a bit before we head off to any of these other islands. Let's go check our crab pot. Let's get some fish along the way. And then we'll go to the back of Little Morrow. A many eyed man mackerel. We got a new rare fish. Yes. Thank you. 
Bustavo with a $100 donation. That we're almost there. We're at $9,946. Amazing. We're so close to crossing the $10,000 threshold. Can we do it? With less than an hour in the broadcast. Oh no, and I'm out of room. And that's it. It's 12 p.m. Let's go sell our catch. Got a lot of stuff we need to dredge as well. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. John M. with a $50 donation for the kids of St. Jude. We're at $9,996. We can do this. I think we can do it, everybody. We're so close. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. Well, who we were expecting, we can say. Your engine, it sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Michael Seacrest with a $50 donation. And that puts us at $10,050. As far as I'm concerned, this is a huge, huge success. We just passed $10,000 for the kids of St. Jude. Uh, it's amazing. In only three days, you guys astound me with your generosity. Thank you, each and every one of you. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Okay, let's go to the fishmonger. Uh, do we need to sell this one? I believe we do. Let's sell all the fish. Did we get anything from the other rare fish? Last time we got something in its stomach. Our research part, we should save that in storage. Let's go to storage and store our research part. And then we need to go to the the merchant again to give him that. Uh, let's go to the shipwright. Uh -huh. We've got 365. That's almost enough money for this one. The hydraulic rod. Even if we get the hydraulic rod, we're not going to be able to use... Well, we could swap it out. We've got this one that, that does the shallows, but it would take up inventory space. Oh, we've got new lights, a halogen spotlight. 1800 lumens, range 82 feet. That significantly improves our abilities here. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm gonna buy it. Uninstall this. Let's sell this. Oh, we only have room for one. Oh, so I gotta buy this back now? Crap. Well, I just wasted a ton of money. Well, so much for that. <laughs> now I know.
Yay, we got the Fiddler Crab. That's a big one. All right, we've got one day remaining. All right, let's fish here. Okay, let's venture forward and fish here. Hey, octopus. And that's depleted. All right, let's turn around and go home. Sell the fishmonger hmm. and complete the crab order. Sixty-three bucks, great. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair the damaged ones at the shipyard. Hmm. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of those mutants? nothing they get sick they go mad <laughs> well perhaps but I want to know for sure retro wave with a donation of $25 to help the kids of St. Jude thank you so much retro wave and Mick C with a $10 donation thank you so much bring me a muted fish any will do just keep this between the two of us all right well I sold him my mutant fish earlier which is a bummer I should have saved that Okay, let's sell all of these fish. We're at 397. I just don't have the ship parts. Huh. I need to upgrade my ship. Huh. I need a new hull. Costs 500, four wood, two screw screws, three cloth, and one metal, I'm guessing. Okay, I need to go dredging. Search for relics. I need two scrap. I need one aberrant fish. Lost at sea. Find the belt buckle near Little Mara. Let's see, what is new in the encyclopedia? It's not marking it for me. Okay, let's sleep till morning. Check on our crab pot. Wait, let's fish here while we can. There we go, we got a lumpy mackerel. We got a cerebral crab. A turquoise mass swells from within this small crab. The growth pulses, quickening in the light of the sun. Yeah, I guess terrifying. All right, let's pick up the crab pot because we need to repair it. All right. Let's go to the fishmonger. 
Have you got any of those mutants with you right now? No Name says, Lumpy Mackerel, a distant relative of the Sisty Pig. Yeah, I hope we don't catch any Sisty Pigs. Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. The Lumpy Mackerel, a writhing math mass of lumps, twisting and pull pulling their way under the scales of the vessel. How long can it have lived like this? All right, let's put that there. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. <sighs> yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? They're no use to me. Hey, we got research parts. Yeah. Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. <sighs> Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. This cave is just creeping me out now. All right, uh, we got this fresh crab, and it sells for 14. Do we need to keep aberrant creatures or just uh, sell them? Well, we can sell all fish for 70 bucks. That puts us at over 500. Uh, let's go to... Hey, James and Steph donated $25. Thank you, James and Steph. The fishmonger's door slams behind us. Anonymous with a $25 donation. You guys are really coming in, coming in at the last moment. I love it. We hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. Let's go to research. We now have three research parts. We haven't even purchased this one yet. We could unlock uh, a better engine. We could unlock better crab pots. Lasts for five days, yields two per day. Lasts for three days, yields two to three per day. Lasts for three days, yields two per day. Capacity five by four, capacity four by four, capacity four by four. So this will yield crabs aberration bonus 2%, 2%, 2%. Right, I think uh, we'll probably try this one, but first let's unlock a new engine. But we don't have the slots for it on the machine. Actually, we do. Let's try this. Oh, we can't, we gotta get this first. An improved outboard engine. Oh, all right. All right, that leaves us with two. Uh, do I get two new pots? Or do I work on a new engine? Speed 25 knots, speed 35 knots, high quality components and an excellent craftsmanship, a reliable engine trusted by seafarers. This engine is outfitted with a dual propeller system, increasing its speed. A jet drive engine, one, two, three, four, five parts. A relatively new design, this unit propels water through the system more efficiently than outboard propeller setups. It's probably really expensive. Well, uh, this is faster at 35 knots, oh, but I can't afford it. Each of these is 15 knots. I have two installed. That gives me... 30 knots. So if I switch to this, I'm actually going to go slower. If I switch to this, I'm only going to get an additional 5 knots. So it's not worth it. This is coastal and shallow, and this is oceanic. So I could swap out... You know, the coastal, there we go. I could swap out the coastal and shallow for the basic. Then I could put the oceanic there. 
So that's where my research needs to go. I would be able to fish for three different types. So let's get this. Now. Great, I now need to buy it. Huh. 460? Dang. Well, I can sell those two. It's worth it. Doggone it. Why can't I put it there for the moment? Okay, that frees up room for the Oceanic, which is another 400 bucks that I need to go buy. Oh, I see. This is 14 knots and that's 10 knots. So I've only got 24 knots. If I were to buy those other two engines, it would actually be much faster. All right, let's repair the crab pot. Um, repair all 15 bucks. The crab pot is now repaired. Capacity three by three, so I need to buy a better crab pot. The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. All right. Well, it's 124. We're not going to be able to get far. Let's see if we can go dredge some stuff. Ooh, here we go. This spot is depleted. Oh man, it's already night. God, the day-night cycle is so quick. Hey, correct reading operation. Reading complete. Check the cabin for results. Check the cabin. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Oh no, that's sustainable fishing. This is engine provides 5% more movement speed than listed. Great. Rods, reels, and rigs. Rigs, let's read that one. Let's go back to the fishmonger, and he's still not there. Hey, Jessica Kind Kindred with a $15 donation. Thank you, Jessica. Crap, I can't sell my fish. Maybe he'll be there in the morning. Let's rest. Crap, I can't sell my fish. Uh, can't sell the fish to her. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended rib cage. The rest of the fish is withered and drained. Right, well, let's try going to the other island. Let's put a crab pot deeper in the ocean. Like right here. <laughs> 
trader. Ah. We can sell all trinkets for 25 bucks. Great. Ah, uh, painter. Yeah, we can't we can't sell uh, fish to him. Crap! And I'm running out of room. I've got all these eels. Oh, I should have dropped my crab pot over here to catch those crabs for the uh, unique pigments. All right, well, let's uh, see if we can find some scrap around here, and then uh, let's head back to Greater Morrow. don't have the right equipment. Ooh. Disturb the water. Yeah, that's the best I can do. All right, let's go back while we can. Finding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Well, we've got these two aberrant fish. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. I guess we sell it. 151 bucks. Where are we at? Can we... Uh, nope, hold on. <sighs> Almost. About a hundred dollars away. That crimson glow in the sky seems to have gone away. The air feels quieter now, more settled. Have you noticed? Okay, with our inventory less cluttered, we now have more room. Let's check the crab pot. Ooh, a big guy.
Well, I didn't get any scrap metal, and that's what I need. There's another dredge spot over there. Yay, one scrap metal. Great. All right, that's all I needed. Great, so we can now head over here and finish building her shack. Go, material pile and one and two we've delivered all necessary materials we should let the builder know fantastic let's head back ooh what's this Another board. Another board. What I really need is lumber. A goblet. Hey, cool. There's lots of stuff. Oh, it's almost 8 p.m. A bolt of cloth. A research part, yeah. Another bolt of plum. Uh, it's 12 a.m. Oh no. Let's, let's go to the dock. Let's sleep. Okay. Research. We've got one research part left. But I need to go get this hydraulic rod, then I can finally fish oceanic. Right. We completed our research here. Uh, rods, reels, and rigs. Straightforward, simple techniques on operating fishing equipment more effectively. Not much I didn't know already, though. Rods will reel in fish 10% more efficiently. How can I best organize this? Okay, that gives me a little more room. There was more to dredge over here. Oh, but I'm gonna get scrap. And I don't have room for scrap. I think I've got room for one piece of scrap. Stock medium. I should come back when I've got more inventory space. 
All right, let's see what this haste does. Okay, I didn't catch on fire. And my engines are still okay. We've got some treasure to sell. Let's go to the trader. Sell all trinkets, 35 bucks. All right. Let's check our crab pot. Yeah, let's talk to the builder. Ah. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Ah, really? Uh, okay. Good riddance to you, Greater Morrow. I'm onward bound. Okay, it's 1.16 p.m. With haste, could we get there by nightfall? I think we probably could. Actually, let's sell our crabs first. Hmm, haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. Let's sell all fish. Made it! Record time. Ah. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. <laughs> Take these. Always good to have on hand. All right. More research parts. Okay, we still have to search for the relics, and we need to find the belt buckle near Little Mara. We'll have to do that in the morning. There's Little Mara. That must be where the belt buckle is. And I guess we need to go down there to find more relics. Well, let's fully upgrade our ship before we do. It's 440. I think we got enough time for one fishing expedition. Actually, now we have room in our hull for a few pieces of... Yeah, but not enough. Okay. It's 6.30, let's go rest.
Okay, let's sell what we have. <laughs> let's work on an upgrade at the dry dock. Okay, net spaces, rod spaces, engine spaces, or light space. Well, there is one light that I want to buy. It needs two wood and one scrap. Let's try the wood. And we don't have the scrap yet. Um, let's put one wood here. Now this needs bolts of cloth. Okay. Hmm. Let's repair the crab pot. And now we can work on our upgrades. Research. Let's see, we got three. Let's work on an engine. 36 knots. This is 26.3 knots. I've got three. Might as well. Twin prop engine now available in stores. Can I afford this yet? No, I'm a hundred, about a hundred away. Still, we need to get more fish. gold ring. Interesting. A research part, yeah. That's been depleted and it's almost five. Let's rest here. Ah. Sell all trinkets. We've got one part. Let's uh, put it into... Large crab pot. We're gonna have to go buy one though. Five by four, four by four, four by four. All right, let's get this one. All right, I gotta go buy the large crab pot. Let's sleep. The axe is directly behind Little Mara. Ah, we got a dredge here. Oh. 
Oh, we got it. What's this? depleted. Wow, there's a lot of stuff back here. Let's deploy our crab pot. Um, We'll rest here. Darth Luke says, um, Darth Luke says, have a good day. Also, super chats get donated, right? They do indeed. Let's sell a trader. He pulls a book from a stack sitting on his desk and hands it to you. It's covered in dust, but otherwise seems in good condition. All right. Uh,. Bronze belt buckle. Oh, that's the, that's for the quest. We need to go to the grieving father. <sighs> About that belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man? Yes. You give the belt buckle to the man. <sighs> this is, this is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I've not any money to pay you. But this might hold some value to you. And we got a research park. Anything else I can help you with? And that's it. Okay, it's 4.30. Is that enough time to get to the other town so we can sell our fish and assort our scrap? Yeah, how many research? We've got one research part left. We were putting it into... We bought the engine already. We were putting it in... Oh, we got the pot already. We need to go get that as well. <laughs> so much we need to buy. Let's keep the research part for, uh, part for now. Ooh, we've got an, uh... Oh, we got a fish here. Mm. That said, I didn't get one. Fishmonger. Let's sell all fish. Ooh. Okay, so that's what we need to buy. Let's first go to the dry dock. Start upgrading our lights. We need one metal. Light space upgraded. Space upgraded. Rod space upgraded. We need cloth, metal, and more lumber. I see, this is now for nets. That opens up for the fishing rod. All right, so still need more materials. 
let's take a look at our research. The relaxed mind. Let's start researching it. Okay, so our only quest left is search for relics. And that's gonna take us way down here. That's quite a trip. Well, I suppose we gotta. Uh, let's rest until morning. And that's all I have time for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me for this three-day charity live stream this year uh, for Fallout for Hope. I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by. Every single donation was extremely generous on this holiday season. This community, this Oxhorn community, raised $10,160 for charity. Can you imagine that? Just amazing achievement everyone i'm so proud of you i'm so thrilled by our charitable donations uh i can't wait to do this again next year let me know what games you enjoyed watching me play and if you would like to see me continue to play any of these during our regular scheduled live stream days um, i'm really enjoying dredge this is the kind of game that i could enjoy on my own but is it the kind of game that you want to see me continue to play during our regular live stream schedules? I'm not sure. Let me know. Tomorrow is Scotch and Smoke Rings, and I will continue to play Robocop, which we had a blast with last week. I've got a couple of concerts for my kids' uh, schools that i got to go to. So I'm going to be late tomorrow. I'm probably going to go live uh, between 9 and 10 o'clock tomorrow. Which is pretty late, I know, but that's my schedule for tomorrow, so uh, Scotch and Smoke Rings late, probably around 9 o'clock p.m. Pacific tomorrow, and then that'll be my week of uh, live streams. I don't think I'm going to get a lore video done in time for the weekend, so don't expect one, but I have many more shorts that'll come out throughout the rest of this week. Thanks again, everybody. You're amazing. I love you all, and have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Bye-bye now. <laughs>